Good morning, everybody. Okay, team's ready. Ah. Hi, Minnie and Lorena and Wolf are very sleepy, but I think they come in the next minutes. Uh, now we start with the first game. Uh, yeah. Please. Yeah, there's a uh, game. We start with um, at 8 o'clock with the Turkish women team and the uh, Austri uh, Austria team, Wien. Pip against Wien. Um, now you must. Uh, ah, I see Wolf. Wolf is coming. And yes. Thank you very much. Enjoy the tournament. Hello world, this is Wolf, just in time to tune in with you. It's a rainy morning here in Berlin, we had to slow down, we not drive as fast as we wanted to, but nevertheless we made it. Here we are in the game, it's the, the women's team from Izmir in blue, Turkey against uh, Vienna in white, 8 o'clock in the morning here in Berlin, and I guess... Um, the girls are quite tired and we are at the basket of uh, Vienna and I think I need some seconds to get into the game welcome to Turkey those who are watching I have to set up my uh, own stream to see who's in the chat probably the vent is watching and hello good morning to Austria So let's see what we have in store here in this game. This uh, first game on the second day in Champions Cup 2017 in Berlin. And uh, Vienna is on the attack, going for the corner of the Turkish basket. But being under uh, pretty good attack from the Turkish girls, they uh, succeed in keeping them away from their basket and until now we haven't seen a real attack on the Turkish basket the Austrian girls stay in the corner now they try to get in the middle of the pool to start their attack but I cannot see yet uh, any player from Austria getting into position around the basket here we go first attack going from the close side in and we see come them coming together, but didn't succeed, well defended. Second attack, but she's all alone, one player alone against uh, um, a well-played team. Shouldn't succeed. Now we have a, a player on the open side on position at the basket, but the IBB team succeeds in uh, recover the ball from the Austrian girls and we are now at the surface still in the half uh, of Turkey and uh, the Turkish goalkeeper goes down to protect the basket not sure where which way the game goes here we go counter-attack from Turkey fast breakthrough to the Austrian basket and trying to get from above there's one player waiting down and uh, here we are uh, with two players fighting in front of the basket uh, for the ball, but Turkey succeeds and we have uh, now three players down around the basket. There's one waiting on the open side and the player from the close side tries to break through to pass on to her. Didn't succeed and we have another cluster up to the surface and a fight for the ball. Good morning everybody in the world. Uh, this is Wolf. Here Champions Cup 2017, we're watching Turkey against Austria, female team, and Turkey is on the attack, and they try to establish their uh, attacking pattern, 
but uh, until now the girls from Vienna succeed in interrupting their play there was pushing without ball I saw her that she's on the open side I think that's the call let's see what the referee says couldn't hear uh, from the referee yeah it's a free throw against uh, Izmir against Turkey uh, the attacker on the open side waiting for the ball was uh, holding her hand on the back of the goalkeeper and that's not allowed you're not allowed to touch um, a player without uh, if you're not uh, in possession of the ball so that was foul play and we were in the, on the surface in the middle of the pool fighting around the ball and Izmir succeeds in getting through they seem to be a little bit more agile a little bit more up to the task to uh, uh, control the ball and we have now a real attack on the open side to the basket but the player holding the ball uh, didn't even try to attack she was already when she was close to the basket looking for uh, another player to uh, give the responsibility to you should always be able to push hard enough on the basket to cause mayhem and then pass the ball on. Ball is now on the surface, we don't see it from here. But I guess the way uh, the defense of Vienna is still in place, uh, yes, it's in uh, Turkish possession, and they try to break into the defense of Vienna, but Vienna succeeds in recovering the ball in this little chaos around the basket, and they are now going for the basket of uh, Izmir, but uh, in the middle field we had a uh, for checking very well done by the Turkish girls and back at the Austrian basket and up to the surface above the basket from what I have seen um, in these uh, seven minutes of the game uh, Turkey is a little bit more faster a little bit more awake uh, they learned a lot from uh, what I have seen uh, the last time they've been here. They haven't been here the last year in 2016. And here we go. That was a close one. Uh, they try the Turkish player tried to throw the ball from above into the exchange of the goalkeepers from Vienna, but didn't succeed. And the ball just dropped on the open side of the basket. Was recovered by a Vienna player, and uh, but they were stopped by forechecking. We have now the scene for a counter-attack and that's always dangerous if if you go forward if you if your mind is into the attack and have to switch back into defense but Vienna succeeded doing this and we have an attack now on the basket from above on the head of the goalkeeper and we see them fighting really hard but uh, the defense or the attackers I think were up to the task to tackle the attack from Turkish player away so still the the basket is empty of the young players and another attack coming from the open side that's a good chance two players from Turkey under the basket that should be a good chance another player should come down now to to finish no they didn't succeed again very well defended by Vienna but Vienna is now under pressure um, they they cannot really break free of their own uh, half and another attack waves coming in stopped by Vienna Vienna has the basket but they have uh, problems switching from uh, defense into offense and they're blocking themselves so the ball is dropping down and uh, the goalkeeper from Vienna or the defender had to swim back to go into defense right at their basket so this is a, a interesting game uh, Turkey is doing quite a good job here um, putting pressure on the Austrian basket and we've seen the Austrian girls playing yesterday they did a, a very good play and it's a free throw against Vienna very well done um, and I think uh, Turkey is uh, if not dominating but still uh, a lot more in ball possession than Vienna and Vienna has to wake up but it's uh, the first game for Turkey a little bit easier if you had a hard game yesterday and you go into the water the next day this early in the morning with no sun and it's raining it's always hard to stop that to get the tiredness the fatigue out of your bones so probably uh, Turkey is a head start here but I see them more agile I see them faster um, not only 
physically but mentally in the game. So Vienna is in ball possession, um, but they fight hard to get through the very aggressive forechecking of the Turkish girls. Very well done. They recover the ball. Turkey is in ball possession and we're now on the surface and there's a call from the referee. Oh no, it's the end of the first half. So end of the first half here in Berlin, Champions Cup 2017. Um, it's the 29th Champions Cup so far. Next year we will have something to celebrate. 30 Champions Cups um, already. But it's not the oldest tournament we have here in Germany. Um, some weeks ago there was the celebration of the 50 years golden ball, goldener ball in Mülheim, which was uh, is supposed to be the first underwater rugby tournament that ever happened in the world. And they were ce celebrating 50 years, so um, quite some time ago. Okay, we have now a view in the uh, pool area and see the teams assembling uh, the Vienna girls are coached by their uh, by their coach he gives them uh, some instructions he will tell them they have to be more awake in this game and um, play more as a team they they were a little bit out of sync you would say and the sync of the Turkish girls was uh, quite up to the task to put them under pressure Hello world, I have to smile at the camera. Hello Lorena. Yes, we were just uh, driving really fast through the city and it's raining here in Berlin. It's uh, not cold, it's not really cold, but it's a wet uh, sunless day. Something typical we have here in the winter in Berlin. But nevertheless, uh, we made it in time to see this game. And it was an exciting game uh, until now, so I'm curious. It's still 0-0 zero zero with um, the girls from uh, Izmir in blue, Turkey in blue, and uh, the girls from uh, Austria, Vienna in white. And it's a 0-0 zero zero after the first half. And um, from what I've seen up until now, um, Turkey is dominating the game. Uh, more ball control and a little bit faster compared to the Austrian game. But uh, don't underestimate Austria. We saw them play yesterday and they did a very good job. So they played against Akaren, which was a heavy game, not the easiest game for them. But uh, we see a team that developed a lot in the last years. And what I talked to Lorena yesterday, even though we saw a, a big difference in the teams, w the games we saw until now, none of the teams gave up. Uh, in each game, we saw uh, 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 the weaker game, the weaker team fighting hard, using every chance, fighting for every ball, fighting for every inch in the pool. And um, this game can uh, still develop in any way. So it's all open, it's a zero, zero, zero. The games have to be decided. So if we stop in the next 10 minutes um, and it's still a zero, zero, we see, we'll see a penalty shooting and the first penalty uh, will be the decision of the, of the team, uh, of the game, sorry. Teams ready? Oh, that's the referee. Teams ready. We are ready. Uh, the last 10 minutes in the second half of the first game here in Berlin 2017. Um, and Ismir is in ball possession. Going in like they finished and going in fast, going for the basket of Vienna. But Vienna, uh, the defense is, is quite up to it. They have been there right on time. And I haven't seen many uh, mistakes yet in the... Uh, defense, I've seen no mistakes, and now Turkey goes in really hard, they fight really hard from above, going into the defense and the forechecking, that was a nice pass down to the next wave coming in, if they keep the pressure up, they will eventually succeed by scoring, but now uh, the Vienna defense um, succeeded in pushing them up to the surface, and we have a cluster on the surface 
fighting for the ball and here we go again Vienna coming down again hard they they have the the, the bite they have the will to go in now but Vienna's defense uh, is also very very uh, aggressive to push them away so they, they do a good job they're not only defending they go into the the, the offense structure of the Ismi girls and interrupt them so very well done and uh, if Vienna succeeds to break free like they do now we probably see a chance for them to attack uh, the Turkish basket but again Turkey is in ball possession going back uh, in attack mode for the basket and here we go again the attack uh, above there's an Ismi girl lying on the basket stealing the basket from Vienna but they didn't succeed again spotless defending by Austria very well done and we have uh, 53 people watching this first game here on Saturday and again an attack from above uh, the Izmir player tries to throw the ball to the player on the close side waiting there but again tackling to the surface and uh, this could even be a zero zero because the we miss the last push into the basket from Vienna to succeed but there's now a player waiting on the in front of the basket of Vienna that could be a chance for them to to interrupt the defense structure of Vienna but uh, the girls um, carrying the ball on the surface didn't succeed to come down in time now we have a chance from the close side that's a decisive attack but they didn't manage now on the open side, but uh, tackled away by Vienna and a call from the referee. Didn't see what happened. Uh, too hard to play. Yeah, I mean, I saw that one of the um, Austrian players was grabbing the head of one of yeah, the Yeah, so it's a free throw yeah. against Vienna and uh, a pass over for a second to Lorena. Good morning, Lorena. How Good are you doing? Morning. I'm Are you into the game? Not yet. I'm hanging in there. Oh, okay, go for it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So um, we have a very interesting game between uh, Turkey and Austria. Uh, uh, Ismir is uh, again uh, in continue the, the the wave of attack, and I hope that the Austrians can really consistently defend and keep the focus. Um, because if uh, they continue uh, pressing and pressing, that's you know the chances are higher that eventually uh, they it will be maybe uh, tired, exhausted, and confused, and then uh, get a, a goal against. So now it's a free throw for Austria. I'm trying to see. I cannot hear what happened, but uh, we'll have the Turkish. Uh, Goal is already into position, waiting, and the four checkers already attack. Uh, let's see. They have to repeat the free throw. Now it's three meters uh, away from the goal, and now we go again. But the Turkish uh, team is on top of the the Austrians. They don't let them advance not one little centimeter uh, with the ball free. And they are coming now, the Austrians try to come from the close side, but it's always one of the four checkers on the one that is in, um, in possession of the ball. And they do a really good job dis disturbing the attack and don't really allow Austria to build up uh, waves and to create pressure. So now we have a uh, um, fight in the surface for the ball. Uh, we have the Turkish team that recovered the ball is trying to swim a counter-attack. Sadly, uh, there was uh, this player alone against three, four Austrians, and there was no one to pass the ball until a bit too late. And this is the decide. This is what really decides a, a goal or not. That that really uh, second where you can con start the counter-attack and pass the ball and really advance to the op opponent goal. So they have a free throw for the Austrians clock is ticking, 4 minutes and 30 seconds, if no goals happen in the game time then we have to go to penalties, it's too early in the morning for penalties but I'm als always uh, happy to see some uh, so let's see, let's see 
what happens in the next four minutes if Austria uh, is maybe able to build up a bit more pressure of its mean success because so far for what I've, I've been seeing once the um, Izmir uh, are attacking the Austrians there they can create a bit more um, uh, pressure. pressure thank you uh, then the what the Austrian team is uh, trying right now I mean they, they they get underneath the goalie but so far I didn't see them really being able to push the goalie away because the defender or the four checker from the Turkish are so effective that don't really let them space. Here we and go. We see attack and this is what I mean that now it's three of the four of the Austrians girl come into position. I was great and the Turkish girl is still fighting alone and it took too long for her to pass to her partner, the partner to arrive on time. That is another second if she had had uh, uh, someone on the close side second earlier uh, than the player arrived then probably there would have been a score so three minutes a little good bit more than three Levin. minutes left hey Levent you're with us good to read from you where do I have the chat um, Turkey is in all possession, I think. Yeah, here we are, and there's one uh, Turkish player waiting under the basket of Jena, and we have another attack from a Turkish player going on the on the on the height of the goalkeeper from Vienna, but didn't succeed. Was just a, a not that decisive grip to to the goalkeeper, and then she went up again. So two minutes thirty left. We have a change in the Vienna team. In. 37 out, 44 in. And Turkey is going in from uh, above, and there is one player waiting on the open side and one on the close side. Out, this is a good chance for in. Turkey. This is it. That could be it, yeah. Goal for Turkey. Well done. Well, uh, I think it, it, was, it was well attack. earned. Yes. Oh, I'm sad for the Austrian three. team because, of three, course, yeah. you know, after just two minutes before the well end of the game. Out. It's you don't want to have a score, uh, but uh, Turkey has been more, um, uh, I mean, more consistent in the attack, uh, and uh, they were building more pressure. They were more in ball um, in the position of the ball. So, uh, for me, for what I've seen, uh, Turkey has been a bit of a, a stronger team uh, in this game. So it's a well-earned uh, goal. Uh, so far, so two minutes. Let's see that mm, Austrians are trying to catch some air and see if they can change things around in the next two minutes. 20 seconds left from the timeout. So we have a timeout, it's only uh, 30 seconds left, and uh, 10 seconds left uh, in the timeout. This is a difficult situation for Vienna. They uh, um, uh, are one goal behind and have only uh, one minute 45 left. Time is up. Players, teams ready. So this is really, uh, uh, they have to throw everything they can into this uh, last one and a half minute. And uh, even if they risk open up uh, in their ready. own basket, they have to go forward and throw everything onto the Turkish basket to equalize, otherwise they lose this game. And I think that's what we see now, will we see now. Um, but Turkey uh, isn't at, uh, uh, has an advantage. They only have to, and only, uh, I mean not with a, uh, irony, they only have to defend. And here we go. Uh, Turkey is in offense, and that's the best situation they can have. And this is a quite good an attack. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Okay, this, this game is almost decided, and um, Austria, I think nine. they opened up and they tried to be Three more nine. offense, uh, put more Three energy nine. in the offense, and but that did well cost them. Well, but this is the risk you take when, you know, just one or two minutes uh, before the end of the of the game, uh, you all go to, to forward, and if it's you lose 2-0 or 1-0, it's the same, but at least then you risk uh, maybe to, to score. Um, it's 30 seconds left for this game. We have a free throw for Austria, but it's 2-0, so this uh, is a victory 30 for the 30 Turkish team. 30 seconds, 20 seconds. And uh, a, um, a well-earned, uh, the, the 
the Turkish team has been playing um, better um, when they were attacking and, and uh, counter-attacking. But we saw a good uh, Austrian team until now. They really learned a lot from, uh, from the last years we saw them playing. And uh, Turkey was uh, really is, is really quite awake in this game and they did win uh, um, with a 2-0 which is uh, earned. Um, they did a good job so um, attacking and staying in ball control. Congratulations to Turkey for this victory this early in the morning. Uh, it's 8.20 uh, uh, right now. Lorena, really? you're not even awake yet, aren't you? No, um, I normally um, at 12 I start be 